that start. Good evening and welcome to Weldon Road, Castleford for the First Division Stones Bitter game between Warrington and Castleford. I'll read the Warrington team first. Number one, Bobby Myler. Number two, Des Drummond. Number three, Alan Bateman. Number four, Gary Mercer. Number five, Chris Rudd. Number six, Rocky... Chris O'Sullivan. Number seven, Kevin Ellis. Number eight, Neil Arman. Number nine, Dwayne Mann. Number 10, Gary Tease. Number 11, Mark Thomas. Number 12, Roland Phillips. And number 13, Paul Cullen. Substitutes for Warrington. Uh, 14, Paul Williamson. And Rocky Turner. Castleford team. I'll have to give you later as Warrington get the game underway. And it's Castleford now. Warrington playing towards the scoreboard end. Referee for tonight's game. Mr. Galtras from Bradford, he's the referee we had against St. Helens on Sunday, so he'll be very familiar with the Warrington team. So it's Castleford now, just outside their own 25, long one back. Big kick. Done the changes. And scrum down on the halfway line. Castleford now, playing up now on the halfway line. And along the wing, Stedman now, didn't play on Sunday. Good, good play by Stedman, makes the difference to this Cass team. But tackled by Neil Armin, so Cass applying the pressure. French, long one, outside now, Hardy. Good play by Castleford. Letting the ball do the work, they're playing really well, but he's through into touch. So it'll be a scrum down, Warrington to feed. Warrington get the ball out. So Warrington now, coming away with it now. Tease, good play by Colin. Forward pass. Obstruction, says the referee. The Warrington will get the penalty. Pulling back, says the referee. So Warrington get the first penalty in the game. So Warrington now, restart, five yards in the half, here's Tease now, good running by Gary Tease. So Dwayne Mann, Roland Phillips his first touch, big Welshman but three cast defenders there to drag him down. So Warrington now, putting on a bit of pressure just outside the cast 25, run around with Ellis, Ellis to O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan jinks one way but closed down, good play by Anderson of Castleford. And it looked like O'Sullivan found the gap. Still Warrington though, Neil Armin. And this time he loses it. No advantage to Cass, so it'll be a scrum down. Cass head and ball. So. And crowd getting on the river, he's back, it's not his fault. So, French gets it out, bit of a knock on, got away with it. Stedman gives it to Fletcher, but Fletcher's tackled. Bateman in the tackle. So it's Cass now in possession in their own. Coming out in their own half now, Castleford. French, little Australian, but good tackling. Tease the tackler. Stedman gets his kick off, looks a good kick though this time, brilliant kick by Stedman, plus play 10 yards from the Warrington line. <laughs> so 
So it'll be Warrington's head and ball. So Warrington get it out, Kevin Ellis. So Warrington now, 10 yards from their own line, the forwards will drive it away here. Dwayne Mann comes from acting half-back, but good tackling by Cass. Cass will be looking for a win tonight after the upset on Sunday against the Hornets as Neil Armand gets tackled. It's Dwayne Mann. Plays the ball out to Cullen, he gets the centre running, but good tackling again. Looked like he was away, but Castleford just shut it down. Midway between the halfway and Warrington 25. Neil Armin, and another bad mistake by Warrington. Knock on it to play the ball. So Castleford will get head and ball. Castleford's head and ball now. Bad mistake by Warrington there. Cass get it out, Steadman. Got it to Fletcher, linking up. Good running by Fletcher, but also good running by his opposite number, Lyon, who brought him down. Coming out on the blind side this time. Gives it to number Anderson, but no way through. So Cass again. Good tackling again by Warrington. So... Uh, French, French throws a long pass out, but Warrington read it well, and he gets it back to Larder, but he's well tackled. Good tackling by Warrington. So Castleford lost about 10 yards in that move. And it's to the forwards now. Last tackle, says the referee. So Castleford not made much ground in these six tackles. Here's Stedman, jinx one way, jinx the other, and still gets a good kick in. Good play by him. And also good play by David Lyon. Excellent play by the fullback. So Warrington back in possession now on their own 25. And Gary T, good running. Good running, Drummond just grabbed from behind. Good play by Drummond, but good play too by the hooker. Southernwood, Ellis, O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan jinx one way, jinx the other, but good tackling by the Castleford forwards. This time, Roebuck does the tackling. Ellis gives it back inside, but Castleford read that move and shut it down straight away. Gary T's brought to the ground. So, Warrington now. Dwayne Mann gets a kick in, gets it behind Plange, and it looks a good kick, and he finds touch. Just outside the cast 25, so it'll be Castleford's head and ball. So, it'll be French, the Australian scrum half, to put the ball in here. Mm. Referee not happy, saying Warrington's not down, so Castleford get the penalty. Differential penalty here. Mr Galtras says the Warrington front row didn't go down. And Stedman with a good kick. Puts play ten yards inside the Warrington half of the field. So, support, that Cast fans looking for something out of this. Dean Sampson. Samson takes two, so Cass now looking for an early score. French gives it inside to number 11. England, bit of a forward pass, but... So, Southernwood acting half-back. Roebuck, Roebuck's got number 12. Hardy running in, good play between the forwards, but Warrington seen the move and shut it down. 15 yards out now, can Cass get the score? French, French outside, good play by French. So... Castleford now. French. So last last tackle says the referee. Fletcher is the big kick. Big up and under there. This one's got snow on it. No, offside says the referee. No, he's given a scrum down. Sorry. Yeah. So, Cat, Warrington's head and ball. Five yards from the line. David Lyon has to pick it up and come running out. So, it'll be a dropout. So, Warrington to drop out. Chrissy O'Sullivan. 
And Cass fans right behind the team. Long one. But Fletcher's underneath this one. Takes it first time. Good play by Fletcher. And he comes running forward. So Cass in possession just outside the 25 now. What can they do here? Samson, big strong prop forward for Cass. Now it's so Southern would have run round with Roe, but long pass outside, but good play by Warrington. Shut it right down as Crooks is tackled. Bit of a skirmish. But So, the referee, someone's going in the bin. And it's O'Sullivan, but I thought Crooks was in with the elbow. He's lucky to get away with that. And Cass get the penalty on the 25, first chance of points. So, Warrington, so Sullivan, that's the second time this season Chris Yo Sullivan's been dispatched to the sin bin. The first time was at Hull. So, Cass now, chance to put the first points on the board. And, of course, Warrington will be playing ten minutes with just twelve men. So, Lee Crooks, not a difficult kick, right in front. Lee Crooks taking his time, no problem. So, Cass get the first points. So, Warrington 2-0 down. So, Warrington now restart. So, Warrington now got no kick after the restart with O'Sullivan being in the bin and it looks like Gary Mercer's got the job now so Mercer long one but Castleford there for it big forward now comes away with it Fletcher good play by Fletcher Fletcher he's got Southernwood outside him that's good football by Castleford so Castleford now really turning the style on French French Inside to Crooks, but Crooks is dragged down this time. Southernwood going in on his own, feeds it to Mountain. And Samson brought down now, just outside the 25. Castleford looking now, looking good, looking for more points while Warrington's down a man. Good play, but unfortunately the pass goes astray and Warrington picked the ball up, so that'll be a bit of relief for Warrington. Chance to undo the pressure. So, Warrington now, outside the 25, and a penalty to Warrington, not letting him play the ball, says the referee, indicating an elbow as well. I think Samson was the culprit this time. So, David Lyon with the penalty. And Lyon finds touch, 10 yards inside the Casa. So, what can Warrington do now? 12 men down, oh, Sullivan, they have to reorganise half-back. So, Phillips, first full game for the team tonight. Be looking for a big game. Armin. Armin runs into a brick wall, though. The two Castleford props, Lee Crooks and Samson. So, Warrington now. Ellis. But too close to each other, and Ellis has to take the tackle. Bit misunderstanding there. So, Warrington now. Tease. Tease will go forward. Only knows one way to run this young lad, Gary Tease. And that's forward. So, Dwayne Mann acting half-back. Thomas, Thomas along the line, long one, Ellis. Ellis misses out the player. Good pass to Bateman, but Bateman's tackle. Good tackling by Cass. Last tackle, says the referee. So, look for the kick here. So, ball back, turnover. So, Castle get the ball back here. It's kicked on the full into touch. So, Cass are making a substitution. So, Braga comes on instead of Steve Larder. So, Cass again. 
Good play by Cass. And it's plunged, but the final pass was a bad one, and Warrington recovered the ball. But that was good football by Castleford. And if Plunge could have took that ball, I'm sure it'd have been over. So, Dwayne Mann runs into Crooks. Crooks doing a bit of work now. These Cass fans know they've not got the money's worth out of him. They call him lazy, but he's getting involved tonight. So, Dwayne Mann acting half-back. Thomas, first receiver. This time, Armin comes in. Crooks tackling off the ball. So, bad pass again. And Castleford get it back. So, Cass in possession now, inside their own half. Southernwood did the... Here's French. Having a good game up to now, this little Frenchman. Little Aborigine. So, he's tackled. So, Cass. Good running. Grant Anderson. Good run by Anderson. Went from acting half-back. So, Gary French out to Stedman. Stedman gives it to number... 11, he's still going. Still going. Good football here by Cass, but gives it away. No, six again. Cass get it back. So, six more to go, says the referee. Stedman. Stedman inside, but again, a mate makes a mess of it. Backwards, says the referee. Dean Sampson still going. Chance out here now. Long pass. But good tackle by Desi Drummond on Plange when it looked like Plange was going to score. French, Stedman, Stedman, little jink forward. And he's played up, picked up well by Young Myler. But good tackling, good tackling by Cass. And Myler's hurt. Took a bad knock there, Young Myler. Only his second game in the first team. So, unfortunate in we are, for unfortunate injury there to young Robbie Myler. Let's hope it's not too serious. He's looking very groggy as he's trying to be helped off by Tony Rothwell and young Chaddy. So, Warrington bring on the sub. So, Paul Williamson comes on. Oh, is it Turner come on? Rocky Turner's come on to take his place, but... So the clock started again now, so Mercer, drop out between the sticks, long one. Again, Fletcher's there, having a good game, this young Fletcher. Fletcher now comes running forward, good player. So Warrington now. Samson, having a good game, this big number 10. So, Warrington holding out, still with 12 men. Hardy, Hardy goes, runs into another Warrington player, but unloads it, Southernwood, Southernwood has to go on his own though, punching there, Castleford, so, Cass still in possession, just outside the 25, is Roebuck, Roebuck back to Samson, who's certainly earning his money tonight, Southernwood, but again, good play by Warrington, good play by Castleford, that is good football. When it looked like Desi Drummond had got the move shut down, he managed to unload. So, Castleford get the first try of the evening. Yeah. So, Fletcher started it and Fletcher finished it. Good lad, this Fletcher. Come from all, originally with Salford, but... He was there, he started the move, and superb backing up. Southernwood was there, he passed it inside, and the last pass went to Fletcher, who had the easy, easiest job of walking over the line. So, 6-0 to Cass with a conversion to come. Been coming for a few minutes, that try. I think this number 10, Samson, having a good game in the front row for Cass as well, making his mark already tonight. So, Lee Crooks, the other prop. Can he put this over? Make it eight. No problem. Missed it. Well, that was a bad miss by Lee Crooks. I think he just kind of flew at it. So, Castleford six, Warrington nil. We've had about 23 minutes play. But that was a bad miss by Crooks. 
So I think O'Sullivan now coming back on the field, so Warrington back at full strength. So, Warrington 6-0 down, but back at full strength with O'Sullivan out of the bin. So, Castleford restart now. <laughs> Ellis, he's tackled. So, Castleford again now in their own 25, but they've got players making breaks tonight. Here's Crooks, a good run by Crooks. Oh, makes it 10 yard, good run by Crooks. A cast again, this time to Samson. And Samson's brought down, but after making five yards, impressing me this Samson tonight. Back to Stedman. Stedman gets it on his trusted left boot, but Drummond's underneath this one. Orchid ball. Offside, says the referee. Fair. Good decision, referee. Good decision. The players was only five yards away. The new rule this season, you've got to give them ten yards. And I don't know what Gary French is on about. I'm a supporter and I know the rules. He's playing the game and if he don't know the rules, he wants to get his rule book out. And so, Turner puts it into touch. Warrington in possession now on the halfway line. Gary Tees, good running by Tees. So, Warrington now, what can they do? Can they reply to this Castleford try? Phillips. Oh, still going, Phillips. Good running by this big, strong rugby union policeman, PC Phillips. So, Warrington now, midway between the cast 25 and halfway, looking for the first score. Oh, Sullivan, little chip. But again, Fletcher's there. Positioning well, very good. Good positioning by this Fletcher. Been out of this cast team. I think they've been playing St. John Ellis at fullback. But Fletcher's come in tonight and he aims to stay there. Having a good game. England, back out to Southernwood, but Southernwood's nowhere to go. So, so, Crooks, Crooks will go on his own. No, gives it to Mount, Samson, but the cover's there for Warrington. Castleford using Samson, running out wide is. Stedman gets that left boot to it. Warrington lacking at full back now, but Rocky Turner picks it up. Good running by Turner, he's come on for Myler, who got hurt uh, five minutes ago. So Rocky Turner is playing at fullback for Warrington now. Inside to tease, strong running this lad. Big Cumbrian from Barra, been at Warrington now, this is his third game. He loves it at Warrington, he said. O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan inside, but no room to move for big... So Warrington now looking for a score, here it is, O'Sullivan again. Mercer on the burst, but well read, and Grant Anderson brings him down. So, O'Sullivan really getting involved now. O'Sullivan again. That little kick, Plange has got it covered, and Plange sets off. Strong lad, this Plange runs into Gary Mercer and O'Sullivan. And man, the Kiwi connection, Dwayne Mann and Gary Mercer, Southernwood. England, good tackling though. Neil Hartman in with a tackle, so... Castleford is, Samson having a blinder for Cass, taking three or four men every time to bring him down. This father will be proud of him tonight. French, French inside to Crook, inside again, good play, Hardy, good try, good score for Cass. That's what you call classy Cass. Good football that. Again, started from nothing, they just cut Warrington to pieces. Went through about four pair of hands. Lee Crooks was involved. Braga was involved. <laughs> so, Roebuck, loose forward for Cass tonight, went in. But good football, like you say, it went through six pair of hands. But it all started from plans, from a kick from O'Sullivan. Initial made the initial run, slipped it out. The two forwards made midway into the Warrington line and then all of a sudden it just clicked and Crooks makes no mistake with this one so 28 minutes gone Cass improved the lead 12-0 so what a good start for Cass Warrington now 12 points behind 
but let's be fair, it's good football, Casa playing tonight. That's what the fans have paid to see. And I'm surely after Sunday's performance, they've got to earn the crust tonight. And that's just what they're doing up to now. So Hardy, Hardy picks it up in the in goal area. He comes forward, it's Sheffield Eagles, but he's tackled. So Warrington now will have to get their act together. A score before half time's a must. Roebuck, here's Samson, this time he can't hold it and he's knocked on in a bad position, bad mistake by Samson. This gives Warrington head and ball and chance of attacking position 15 yards out. So, Ellis will get it in and Ellis will get it out. Ellis, oh, what a bad mistake. The gap was there, the pass from Cullen was good, but Ellis just took his eye off it a second and knocked on. If we'd have could have held that, I'm sure it was four points went begging so French gets it in and he gets it out tries to go round Cullen and O'Sullivan but oh Cullen's there with a the tackle so Cass again having all the ball in this match up to now so Warrington have to give their heads a shake Southern would go in from acting half back keeping Badmore out of this Cass team and you can see why really getting involved Crooks goes on the blind side with a kick looks like a good kick too Saved his forwards, 30 yards, that's the, kick, that's the way to play the game. Warrington's got a back pedal where Cass can walk forward. So, nearing the half-hour mark here at Weldon Road, it's Warrington nil, Castleford 12. So, Warrington head and ball, Ellis gets it out, gives it inside to Rudd, Rudd's first touch, but he runs into Stedman and Roebuck. So, can Warrington get a score in this first half to bring him back in this game, Dwayne Mann? Runs into England though, no way through. I think Warrington would be better throwing this ball around. Neil Arman, I think they're making a mistake of trying to take this big Castleford pack on. Arman now, man. O'Sullivan, long one. Ellis gets a nice pass inside, but there's the tackle again. Good play. So, good defence and good attack from Cast tonight. Dwayne Mann, but no way through. And Lee Crooks going in again there. He's better walk. He's walking on thin ice. Lee Crooks for my money tonight. Feeds it to Cullen, but the kick goes into touch. So ten yards in the cast half. It'll be Castleford dead and ball. Warrington just not having much possession and just not doing anything when they get it. And Castleford 12 nil up. Two cracking tries. The first one to Fletcher and the second one to Roebuck. French gets it out. Stedman got Plange coming inside, getting involved. But Plange has no way round O'Sullivan and he's brought to ground. So, Cass again. What are they going to do here? Braga. Braga's going forward now. Too many missed tackles in this Warrington defence tonight. That's been our strong point over the weeks. But tonight they're missing too many. Crooks goes on his own but runs into O'Sullivan. And again, he's grabbing out Crooks. Bit of an idiot, this Crooks. Southernwood. Southernwood to Roebuck. Roebuck, good play to Braga, but no way through. Got a Warrington player. It's like Gary Mur No, who is it? Yeah, it's the prop forward. Warrington signing from Barra. Gary T is ready to be punching in the tackle. I didn't see it, but the referee did, and that's all that counts. So Cass get the penalty on the halfway line. I think the player, the, rece the player on the receiving end of that, Gary T's right hook, still receiving attention. Referee stopped the clock. I noticed the Castleford uh, Ecklers are not Eckling now because it's a Cass player. Very, very biased, these cast people below. He was really booing young Myler when he received attention, but it's quite all right for a cast player to receive attention. Ketterich. So, are we on it? So the second centre goes off now for cast. They've already got rid of Larder, and now Anderson's going off injured, and big Ketterich coming on. Big second row goal kicking forward. He'll take his place now in the centre. So, Cass, won another score before half-time. And here's that big man against Samson. Samson by name and Samson by nature tonight for this big lad. Southernwood. 
Having a good game, Southern would round these rooks and round the play the ball, but this time not successful. And it's Southern would again. Roebuck, Roebuck back to Southern would along to French. French spots a little gap, still going, but just brought to ground, ten yards out. So Cass, can he get another one here? Crooks, Crooks to Stedman, he's got Fletcher coming inside, but he decides to go on his own, Stedman, when it had been better feeding Fletcher. England, England to Crooks, Crooks is going forward, can he get on load? No, last tackle, says the referee, look for a kick from Stedman here, or a drop goal. No, little chip, straight to the Warrington player, and Gary Mercer says thanks very much, like picking up potatoes. So, Warrington now in possession, ten yards from their own line. Desi Drummond looking for some daylight, but he won't find it there. So Warrington now trying to get out of their own half. The Dwayne Mann. Dwayne Mann cuts through. Good play from Mann from acting half back, but Keith England followed him all the way. Neil Armand having a good game, Neil Armand. But Warrington taking this Cass pack on when it'd be better letting the ball. Remember, Cass and up got two centres not playing now, and surely Warrington playing the three quarters where they've got the pace. But they're playing into Cass's hands. So the referee spotted it, helped by the crowd, though, I think. So it'll be a turnover. The knock on occurred on the last tackle. So that puts Cass on the attack again. 30 yards out, Samson. Getting involved tonight. Had a poor game on Sunday, but he's earning his money tonight. Southernwood. Very dangerous, like Lee Jackson of all this Southernwood. Operates very well from acting half back. French. French inside to England. Well, good tackling though. So, Southernwood. Stedman. Stedman's got. Hardy, Hardy's got Fletcher with him, but Hardy still unloads it to Fletcher. The gap's there, but Fletcher gets tackled when it had been better than in the ball did a work. But it's still cast. French, French to Roebuck, Roebuck to Crooks. Crooks holds on to it, oh, when Roebuck had run round for the return. So, last tackle again. 15 yards out. Watch for a little kick again here by French. French has got it, here it goes, up and under, snow on it. And the cast player jumped up higher than Turner there, but luckily for Warrington, he knocked it over the dead ball line. So Warrington will restart with a 25 tap. Mercer, running strong Mercer, a big centre, but can't get round Ketteridge. So, Mark Thomas, not having a big game for Mark Thomas, not seen much of him, but he's there, and this time he's tackled. I'm impressed with this number nine on Cass. No wonder Beardsmore can't get in the team. Sullivan, again, tackled. Good tackling. Warrington now looking to open it out. Thomas gets a good kick, and there's that man Fletcher again. Plunge to. So, Cass will start with it here. Plunge. He's got Fletcher with him. Will he give it to him? I don't think so. And he takes the tackle. A good tackle by Paul Cullen. So, Warrington now. First time we've been up here for a long time. Remind you, it's Cast 12, Warrington Nillis Fletcher getting involved, having a big game for Cast tonight, this number one. So. French, French will have to go, he's got plans, but lovely tackle by Drummond. That's what you call a clean, hard tackle, and French is still down. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Nothing wrong with it. Just a good, clean tackle. The linesman knows that he was next to it. So Warrington now fanning it out. Can they go in here? No, they're running and playing around. Ray French looks really dazed there when he hit Desi Drummond. Neil Armin. This is the karate what helps Desi Drummond. He's a black belt and by gummies he's hard. So... Thomas, but again, no way through. Too much one-man rugby here when we should be letting the ball do the work. Cass are down to 12 men while French is receiving attention. And Phillips, he's tackled. Turnover, says the referee again. Bad play by Warrington. Ketteridge, Ketteridge first touch, he's brought now, but French, lucky to say, young Gary French is up and about. So Warrington get it back, Ellis, 
Jink in one way, makes up a good run. So Warrington, this is it. They've got to make these tackles count. We want to score from this one. Long pass to uh, Man. Good running by Bateman, but good play by Cassie's defence. Holding out, not a doubt against them yet, as Cullen goes on the blind side. So, Warrington. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas can't go round Samson. Ray French, he looked Gary French, I think he's a bit concussed, he's on the wing here, but I don't think there's much he could do if the ball comes his way. Ellis, Ellis goes back out there onto the wing, and who's there? That's Samson, that's three tackles on the run for Samson. He's earning his crust. O'Sullivan, big up and under now, what's happening here? Warrington now all on side. Come off a cast player, and a cast player gets it. Well, I think Warrington is just not playing anywhere near what they can play. And they've lost it again. Now, there's a chance here. 20 yards out, Warrington in possession. If they fan it wide now, instead of running down the middle with it. Well, Castlefield play this game all night. Warrington just going one down the middle. Let the ball do the work. And Gary Tees, one man rugby. Castle love it doing this. Fan it wide. Thomas, Thomas long pass to Drummond. Drummond gets round Plange. But Plange gets up and gets him at the second attempt. So, still no way through. Warrington not gaining any yardage. Run around. Good pass. Now this is more like it. The opening's there. Mercer's backing up. Man, inside. Good play to Mercer. Mercer, they're in. Good play. Still going, Warrington. Play on six again, said the referee, as Warrington do some nice football there. Um, thought, I thought they'd scored there. Boom. Gary Mercer knocked on too much rushing. When it looked like we had six tackles again, after a bit of good football, the only football we've played all night, but the cast defence held out. So Castleford will get it and ball. Gary French looks all right. Now he's back over there feeding the scrum. And he gets it out. I think he's penalising. The... No, he's not happy it didn't go in, says Mr Galtras. So French will have to do it again. This time it comes out Warrington's side. One against the head. Unusual sight in rugby league. But it's happened tonight. Remember, you've seen it once at Castleford. Again a knock-on. Warrington got away with that. There was definitely a knock-on at a play the ball. The referee said no. Phillips. Still going strong, lad, this Phillips. Just got to learn to part with the ball now. Ten yards out, Warrington. Can they score it? Ellis, he's the man who make them tick, but again they lose it. And Castleford pick it up. St John Ellis still going. Well, I don't know. Warrington ten yards from the line again and can't get the six tackles. They're just making this job hard for themselves. And Lee Crooks. I make it just two minutes, maybe a bit more injury time too. Remember, the clock's been stopped twice for bad injuries. As Cass come away with it in their own 25 through Samson. Southernwood playing at acting half back, sends it on the blind side, but Warrington read it. This time the Castleford fans echoing on the far side. Crooks. But oh, that's no way to go forward. You've got to run with a ball, not just walk and laze around. So here's the pass. Steadman gets it on his trusted left boot, but Warrington waiting for it. Rocky Turner underneath it. Does well to take it. He's got Rudd with him, but he decides to go on his own. And Rick, there's young French in the tackle. So I'm glad to say he's recovered. So Drummond over there, look. Playing on this wing, Desi wants to get involved. Skipper for the night. Look, he'll have a run. Gets it into Mann, it's surely an Elba there. Look like Crooks and Elba on Dwayne Mann. But, not to be. Warrington playing it too close. Thomas, the man this time brought down. And Castleford give him credit, oh, they tackle him well. Neil Harmon. But again, Drummond, no one there. And Desi has to go back, he passes it to no one. Warrington, lucky get away with that. Turner gets it off. And a long one. This looks a good kick. Fletcher and Ellis there. Ellis gets it. Fletcher goes out on his outside. Good play by Ellis. And good play by Fletcher. He knew what the move was, but he didn't get the ball. 
Fletcher, he'll go on his own here. And he's dragged down. Well, I don't know about Desi. I think Desi Drummond must be hallucinating. I think he thought Warrington had 14 players on field then, and he passed it to Ian another, and who wasn't there. So it's Cass, just short of the halfway line. Here's Crooks, big running, good running. That's more like it. Strong running. So Cass, 30 yards out, 12 nil up. Southernwood, somewhere to Roebuck. Roebuck's got Stedman with him, but decides to go on his own. Last tackle, says the referee. Look for the kick here. Stedman will get the kick here. He's acting half back. Long one, good bouncing kick, beats Desi Drummond and finds touch, 10 yards from the Warrington line. So it'll be Warrington heading ball. I think this scrum and the six tackles might just see out this first half. So Kevin Ellis now to feed on the blind side, the referee this time. So this will be an important scrum for Warrington to get. And they get it, Paul Cullen picks this one up. They're allowed to do that this season, loose forwards. Dwayne Mann, Desi Drummond again, but this time no way round Southernwood. So, Warrington need a score to liven the sell up. Gary Tees, I mean, after the excellent game on Sunday, it looks like we're back to square one. Thomas, that's it, earn your cross, lad, do your running. So, I think there'll be some harsh words spoken in the Warrington dressing room at half time, and no need to tell you who they'll be by. Brian Johnson. He'll strip the paint off the walls, he will. And Warrington lose it in the tackle. But play on, says the referee, as Warrington pick it up. Now then, fan it wide, there's overlap over here. Ellis, but Ellis is well tackled. Kettridge there, good tackle by Kettridge and Crooks. So Warrington now, Turner with a kick. Long one, Fletcher's there, gets it first time. Safe as houses, Fletcher. And beats O'Sullivan. Having a good game, Fletcher. I think he's looking for that £25 man of the match tonight, Fletcher Stedman. But he's tackled. Minutes ticking away. We're in injury time in the first half. It's Kettridge, big second row forward. Goal kicking. Can't get in the cast team this season. Wants to go on the list. Here's Roebuck. Roebuck again, but no backing up. He just took the wrong option. And there's the Uter to bring a dismal first half to an end at Weldon Road. Half time score Castleford 12, Warrington 0. Scorers for Castleford Fletcher a try, Roebuck a try, a penalty goal from Lee Crooks and a conversion from Lee Crooks. So. Well, I'll come back for the second half, this first division encounter between Castleford and Warrington. Castleford in front, 12 points to nil. So, what can happen this half? Can Warrington come back or can Castleford run away with it? We'll just have to wait and see, stay tuned. So, Stedman restarts. Phillips, first touch in the second half of Big Roland Phillips, but he's brought down. Warrington playing towards... The fans end this time, Cast playing towards the scoreboard. Dwayne Mann switches it inside, good play by Mann. But the tackling keen again from Cass. Neil Armin, good strong lad Armin. Again though, the tackling there, Kettridge and Southernwood in. Dwayne Mann, Dwayne Mann goes on the other side, gives it to Mark Thomas. Mark Thomas breaks the first tackle, but Samson's in with the second. So, just short of the halfway line, Dwayne Mann gets a kick in. Good kick, but I think... Fletcher's got it again, positioning well tonight, Fletcher. And his running's good too, but he's tackled on this incident. So, Cassin Plange, Plange is having a run, looking for some daylight. Mercer follows him and brings him down. So, Castle with 10 yards inside their own half. French, French gives a long pass inside to Big Ketteridge, but again, no backing up, standing still there, Cass. Southernwood, Southernwood down up the line, Stedman inside to England, but England surrounded by Warrington shirts, and there's only one place he's going, that's down. Southernwood, Stedman, Stedman looking for kick, gets a nice little kick in, and gets the bounce, but just manages to grab him, good tackle there. By O'Sullivan, just tapped his ankles when it looked like Stedman was away from his clever little chip. Kettridge, up and under, putting Turner under all kinds of pressure. But 
Yeah, the referee had to hesitate there. And Turner was trying to tell him we won a 25 tap, and the ref was a bit slow. And Turner gets it. First play the ball forwards in bunches. And full substitute fullbacks got to come running through. Tease. Strong right lad. So, Warrington now. Again, uh, this time it looked like a leg. It looked like a crack. And he's in pain, this young Gary Tease. Stretcher for sure. Sensible referee, and he was right there. And he shouted stretcher too. But there's not one come. Well, what a bad knock. He's only played two games for Warrington, young Gary Tees. We bought him from Barra 30,000 two weeks ago, and it looked like he's joined the long injury list at Warrington. Well, that's a look for you. We just don't seem to have out with injuries. Poor Tees, it looks like a really bad... No So, another injury for Warrington's long list, this time Gary Tees. He's been helped off by an ambulance man in the Tony Rothwell. So, Paul Williamson comes on, winger. So, he goes on the wing, Runt comes inside, and Warrington get offside. After Castleford, Pat were offside this time. So, Warrington get chance now, slow things down a little bit, reorganise. So... Williamson's gone on the wing, what's his position? Ruddy's gone inside. Desi having a word now, I don't know what's going on here. I think Gary Mercer will have to go in the pack, that's the answer. And Matt, Big Phillips will go prop forward. So Warrington restart through Mercer. That's good start play by Mercer. So Warrington now, Ellis in possession now. Switch it, O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan to Cullen. Cullen has to go down with it. No crossing. Phillips picks it up well, and he has to die with it. Good referee, and it wasn't crossing. It was nowhere near the play. So, Warrington now. Looking for an early score. O'Sullivan, watch for a little chip here. No, Thomas feeds out well, but again the tackling in. Ray French, good tackle. Ray for a Gary French. <laughs> So, Warrington now, good unload, now O'Sullivan looking to unload, and again Cullen holds on, when it had been better letting the ball go out, he had Bateman on his shoulder, so Warrington just can't make an inch here, what's this, big up and under by O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan there, good play, he's in, Mercer goes in, bad mistake by Fletcher, I've been praising the lad all night, but it was O'Sullivan, the lad who kicked it, who went in. O'Sullivan got it, put a big boot to it, up in the air. It looked like Fletcher, he had all the time in the world. But for the same reason, he took his eye off it. The ball bounced off his chest. And O'Sullivan, thanks very much, four points. So, Warrington scored through a mistake by Castleford. Maybe it'll give him a bit of art. But after me singing praises all night to this Fletcher, I find, think he made a real bollock there. So... <laughs> so, Warrington score, get a score. So, Ruddy. Looks a good kick as well. And that's a kick, that's us back in the game. Good conversion. Rocky. So... No, oh, Rocky Turner, the kicker. So, five minutes of the second half and we've opened up, at, got six points. So, can Warrington come back now? Try and goal in it. Might give him a bit of heart. But, that, I must say, the try wasn't through Warrington's attack. It was through a mistake. And O'Sullivan, the try scorer, picks it up. Gives it to Gary Mercer, who's operating in the pack now. So, Warrington... Oh, disorganised, remember, with the two substitutions and Castleford as well. Both their centres have gone off. So, there's Big Phillips, a big lad. If only he can learn to use this size. Bit green to rugby league yet. Dwayne Mann goes on the other side to Neil Armand. Neil Armand knows how to run forward, but 
Ketridge is there with a the tackle. Turner gets his kick off. Fletcher's underneath this one. This time he's safe as houses, but he did a bit of a juggle with it. But give the lad his due. He did extremely well. He was under all kinds of pressure. Hardy. Hardy unloads it. Hardy now. Braga. But Braga's going into touch. Good play by Desi Drummond. I don't know what Braga's complaining about. There's a white line there in rugby league. That's touch. So, Warrington will get the head and ball. So, Ellis will feed this one. And he gets it, comes out, goes on his own. No, gives it to O'Sullivan, to Rudd. Rudd's got Turner linking up. Just can't break through. Good tackle by Fletcher and Stedman. When it looked like Rudd was in the daylight. Dwayne Mann is Phillips again. Got to use his weight now and take these Castlewood forwards on. Big lad. Dwayne Mann goes blindside. Gary Mercer, but again the tackling keen. Plange, Ketteridge in there. Good tackling. No way through for Mercer. So Warrington now swinging it wide. Oh, Sullivan, but just can't get through the gap. Very dangerous, this Sullivan. And gives him a bit of daylight and he's away. Thomas. Thomas another kick, but Fletcher's got to go back for this one, and he does extremely well. They're extremely hard to tap them when you're running away from them. And he does a good run out too. Good play again by Fletcher. So, Castleford now. Roebuck. Looks very clean, this Roebuck. He looks like a substitute of a clean shirt. Every other shirt's dirty. Mustn't have someone do his washing, young Neil. England. But... Phillips is in with a tackle along with Neil Harmon. Good tackling. So, Warrington, can they all out now? Swinging it wide. Lee Crooks just breaks the gap, just gets his pass to Hardy. But just managed, Warrington managed to grab him. Good play by Crooks. So, Cass, French, French a little kick. But Rocky Turner looks a good and Turner's there, though. Good play, takes it well, a tricky ball. Comes forward, Turner, but tackle beats one man, but not the second line of defence. So, Warrington now, Desi Drummond. Good tackling again, Hardy, straight from a plate of ball. Grabbed hold of Drummond, didn't give him any room. So, Mercer, making it, earning his keep now, Gary Mercer. Taking two men to bring him down now, strong lad. Another big, big forward, so... Bit of a forward pass, but got away with it. So Warrington now better fanning it out to this left side. Oh, Sullivan, little tricky customer, this. When he's playing well, Warrington play well. He keeps the engine ticking over. So Ellis, Ellis is going to get a kick away. Does well under pressure there, but there's Fletcher again. And he does well again. This time he's cut, cut across, still going. And another injury. Chrissy Rudd took a knock there, but he's up. But looks a bit dazed, it looks like an injury to his arm. So, Warrington now trying to keep Cass in their own half. This is where Warrington want to play the game. Here's England, Keith England, he's played well tonight, but he's brought down. Ten yards in the Warrington half now. And a penalty. I think that was six or one and a half a dozen the over there. I think England was pulling and Mercer was pulling, but the referees give the penalty to Cass. The the team in possession so Castleford get the penalty Stedman puts it in touch now just outside the Warrington 25 Cass want to score here here's Samson Dean Samson unloads it Southernwood now Crooks knock on bad play there terrible play Keith England all the time in the world the pass fair enough was round his boot laces but he had all the time he must have took his eye off it and knocked on so Warrington get the ball back with the head and ball now in the scrum, Ellis will get this in. Foot up. So, Warrington get the penalty. Scrums are going with a feed, bow one. Warrington's at one against the head. The rest have gone with a feed. Ellis starts the game quickly. Cullen, Cullen inside to Turner. Turner has to take the tackle on the halfway line. So, Warrington now looking for another score. O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan to man, Dwayne man, but he can't get past England of Southernwood or Samson. O'Sullivan again, Ellis, tricky little customer this Ellis, hard as nails, very fast over 30 yards. He'd love to score a try here at Weldon Road. 
Cullen, bit of an obstruction. Referee's seen it. Fair play. The crowd don't like it, but they're the rules. He was obstructed. The bloke runs straight in front of him. No intention. Get out of his way. And the penalty goes to Warrington. Fair decision, referee. So, Warrington calling up Rocky Turner. Deze, captain, wants him have a go at goal. We'd be telling him, if you don't kick it, lad, make sure it goes dead so we get the ball back. So, Turner, 25 yards out, about five yards in from the far touch line. Similar position where he just kicked the conversion from O'Sullivan's try. Can he put this one over? So, capable on his day. Turner now. Looks a good one. It's there, I think. A beauty. So that's nearer the score. So I make it now. 12 minutes of the second half. It's Castle for 12. Warrington 8. Can we make a comeback? Castleford fans now are beginning to get on the team's back. That's no good. You've got to give your team support, not echo them. So Stedman now to restart. Castle leading 12 8 with 10 minutes of the second half gone. Well, what a look, you never see that. That was they got the bounce of the ball there. Hit the upright and bounced right back for him. Warrington were half asleep there. Stedman. Stedman trying to go round, but good tackle over there by Mercer. So Cass now going blindside again. Flet Fletcher linking up. Five yards out. This is where Cass need a score. This will break Warrington's hearts if they score here. Samson. But again the tackling holds up. Two tackles to go. Castle be one in a try. Southernwood. Southernwood looking to unload. On us to Crooks. But it's a bad pass. And Hardy still gets it out. Braga. But Williamson and bring him down. So last tackle, says the referee. Watch for a kick here. French. Big up and under. Turner's underneath it. Uh, Mercer. Still in possession. But Ossa. Obstructions, the referee says, Roebuck pushed a Warrington player, Cass don't like it. Well, to be honest, I don't really know, I was watching where the ball had gone, but the referee was in a right position and that's what he said. So Warrington get let off, lucky there. But what a start from Stedman, from the restart, it's the upright, bounce back straight into a forward Zanzu, nearly went over. So. Fine touch, Warrington in possession, 25 yard line. So, Warrington now, 12 8 down. They know a try and a goal will put them in front for the first time. With their heads up now, Phillips. So, if Warrington can snatch a try, I'm sure it won't do Castleford's confidence any good. Man, man inside to Mercer, but Mercer runs into Samson and England. Two big forwards to run into, but Gary will get up. He'll play that all day. Thomas trying to go one way, goes the other, but no, no room. And another Castleford player hurt. Looks like Roebuck's hurt this time. Here's Turner with his kick. Gets it between. No, St. John Ellis not seen much of the ball here. And he has a run, but three tacklers in. Yeah. Good play by Kevin Ellis, having a word with Mr Galtres, he's telling him, did you see that, sir, a knock-on? And Mr Galtres said, I certainly did, lad, and it's a scrum down, Warrington's head and ball. Castleford fans really getting it right now, but if you drop the ball in rugby league, it's called a knock-on. So Kevin Ellis gets it in, gets it out, O'Sullivan, Rudd, back to O'Sullivan, inside, good play, but good cover tackle by Fletcher and Stedman. So Warrington now applying the pressure. Phillips. So can Warrington get a try here? 25 yards out now. Playing all kinds of pressure. There's gaps over here. And that's Rudd. But good tackle by Gary French. Man and ball. That's what you play in rugby league. And that's just what he did. Phillips. But no room to move. Good tackling by Castleford. Two tackles to go. What can Warrington do here? Watch for the long pass here. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan, a long one. Linking up is Rocky Turner. But no one there and he can't unload. Last tackle. Look for the big kick here. Drummond. Drummond will have to chip it. No, it goes round his man. Still going Drummond, but it'll be a turnover. Castleford will get the ball. 
So, Castleford get the ball, Warrington could... Well, wrong decision, it should be turnover, it was the sixth tackle, but the referee, he's not counted correctly anyway. Scrum down and Cass get the head and ball, offside Warrington. No, he wants it to go in again, so... French gets it in, gets it out, Stedman, Stedman now, linking up. But oh, Warrington's tackling improved from the first half. It was shocking in the first 20 minutes. But oh, have they gone? Left it too late. Game. Fletcher now. French. Crooks playing out wide. Did well to all that. He had a Warrington player breathing down his neck. And he looks hurt now. Crooks. England. The Castleford forward seemed to have gone down again. Seemed to have fell asleep. Ketteridge, they need someone to widen them up because they're definitely not playing like they did in the first half. They're half asleep. Crooks, Crooks, long pass. Oh, thanks very much, Bateman. Warrington go in. Thanks very much, Lee Crooks. So, I'll send you a Christmas card, Lee. Thanks very much. Warrington equalised. Alan Bateman, a terrible pass by Lee Crooks. Last tackle, and he threw out a long pass. And who was there? Alan Bateman. That's his sixth try now for Warrington. And none could have come better time. So it's all tied. 12 apiece with a goal kick to come. So, Turner now, can he kick this one? Yes! Warrington in front for the first time. That'll give the cast supporters something to think about. 12-0 down, now leading 14-12. Can we win this one? So, I make it coming up midway through the second half, and it's Castle for 12, Warrington 14. I don't know what Brian Johnson said at half-time, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind a bit of it myself. So, Stedman restarts, long one, this time he stops it, Williamson picks it up, he'll have to come forward, just hold on to the ball now, forwards now. So, Warrington now, coming away with it, forwards. Good play, Mercer. Mercer playing well now since he's gone in the second row. Getting involved a lot more now. So, Warrington finding it hard to make ground. This cast pack's got to wake up a little bit. Dwayne Mann, Mark Thomas. Mark Thomas makes his ground. Good running, but there's Samson in the tackle again. And Southernwood. So, here's the kick. Turner, plenty of time for Rocky, and he gets a good kick off. But Fletcher's there. There's Braga. Braga. And Warrington tackling. That's good tackling. Cass fans not liking it. England again. The tackling's there. Warrington's di a different team in this second half. Cass leading it wide again, but this time the pass goes out. But Fletcher can't get his pass out. So Cass still using the ball out on the blind side. So is Ketteridge again tackle, last tackle. The Warrington tackling 100% better. Here's the kick, French, long kick. But there's Drummond's there, gets behind Drummond. But he'll have to play it, will he? Turner will pick it up and run forward. He's got Drummond with him, but I think he'll go on his own. But good tackling. So Warrington acting half back here. Ellis will go on his own here, no problem. Drummond, Drummond won't do anything silly. He's tackled 10 yards from the Warrington line, but luckily Warrington in possession. Now swinging it, now there's gaps over here. Ruddy, Williamson comes inside Ellis, but Bragger's there. Good run by Warrington. Cullen now acting half back. Kevin Ellis, Dwayne Mann goes on. Play on! Ellis looking for support, no one with him though. And good tackle by Gary French. Warrington now looking to get it wide. Good pass. But good play by Warrington. 
Oh, luckily for Castleford, Warrington could hold it. And Castleford come away with it. Well, that looked like another score for Warrington. Warrington letting this ball do the work now. And that's where he want Cass. Castleford on their own 10-yard line now, trying to get away. Oh, well picked up by Sampson. The pass was round his ankles. If it had not that on. Six again, said Mr. Galtras. He reckons a Warrington player touched it. Crooks. Crooks runs into Man and O'Sullivan. No way through there. Blind at Southernwood at 10 half back. Good play by Southernwood. Spotted a bit of a gap and made the yardage. Here's Crooks. Crooks isn't going to give the long pass this time. He goes down the middle and he's tackled. So both teams now looking for the game. Now only two points in it. And he's got Warrington offside. Ironic chase from the Castleford supporters as Rafe Gary French puts it in touch. So Castleford looking for a score here. Samson. Good running by Samson. Oh, the tackle's there. Now, what can Cass do here? England does well to all it's still going. Bad tackling by Warrington. Shocking tackling. So Cass go back in front. Bad tackling that. Terrible one. Well, Brian Johnson won't like that when he looks at that on the video. That was shocking. It just looked like a normal play. And Keith England, he turned round once and he went through four tackles and spun over the line. So, Lee Crooks now, Cass back in front. And so it's Cass 16, Warrington 14, with his conversion to come from Lee Crooks. Let's hope that tries to give Castleford a bit of iron. Because before that, the forwards were just falling asleep. They were walking round like they'd done everything in first half. And while they were half asleep, Warrington nosed in front. So, Crooks, about five yards to the right of the post, 20 yards out. Should have no problem with it. But, you know, Lee Crooks, no problem this time. So, Warrington's got it all to do again. So, it's Castleford now, 18. Warrington, 14. So, Warrington now restart through Sullivan. First score for Cass in this second half. Good kick. Ellis does well to take that one. And Ellis now, St. John Ellis comes forward. So, Cass now back in front, but in their own 25. Ketteridge, no way through for Ketteridge. So, Warrington will be disappointed with that try, soft try. Samson, good play again and lost the ball. Warrington pick it up. What's he give? Scrum down. I think Warrington should have the head and ball anyway. No! So, Mercer now hurts. Drum down, French gets it out, goes on the blind side, but Ellis is there with Cullen. So, Warrington now, some tackling to do now, they want to win this game. Goes out wide, Ketteridge, but no way through. Another Warrington player, uh, penalty, offside, correct decision referee. And another Warrington player, uh, Well, there's no need for this. I mean, the player was hurt well before the penalty was given. I don't know who it is. Up on his feet after taking a knock to the head. But the penalty had already gone Cassie's way. And Stedman finds touch. So, Cass now. The fans would like him to score. If he can score here, I'm sure it might break Warrington's heart. As Sampson goes ploughing forward. Come back into the game now, this forward. Out to Ketteridge, but again, no way through. So Warrington now, got into the tackling, cast ten yards out. French, he's got Crooks coming in, he shows him the ball, and a bad pass. But luckily for Castleford, Bragger picks it up. 
He don't know where to go. And he brought down. Ruddy brings him down. Ellis, French, Stedman. Stedman now looking for get rid of it, but he holds on. So, Cass lost 10 yards there. After Samson making the ground, they've lost the ground he made. Switching. Ade. Going one way, but Warrington's not falling for that play. And that's the last tackle. Watch for the kick here. Stedman gets it on the left boot, but no one there. All the time in the world. And let it bounce. And Warrington get a let off. Very lucky, Warrington. Never let the ball bounce. First rule in rugby league, but Rocky Turner's not a fullback, but he should know that. He, he left it to look up the pair of them, it bounced between them, and Braga was on it like a shot, but his pass, I must, and they got one against the head. Stedman, along the line now, Stedman again. He's through here, Stedman. He's just dragged down, Warrington's defence again, ragged. So, Castleford, Fletcher, Fletcher now looking to go one way, Roebuck, and he slows it down, gives Warrington chance to organise. Bad play by Roebuck, French, he's got Crooks, he's got England now running in, but good tackle, Neil Armand downstairs, that's where to tackle him. Fletcher, again tackle, four tackles gone, now here's a chance, switching it wide, good play, Lee Crooks goes in. So... Lee Crooks made up for his long pass and he goes in for a try. So, 25 minutes gone. So, Cass have got two tries in the space of five minutes. So, I'm sure the fans will forgive him now for his bit of a wayward pass that sent Alan Bateman in. But, dear, oh dear, as Warrington threw this game away, 12-0 down at half-time. We made a fight back, we were in front 14-12, midway through the second half, and then what happens? The defence that Brian Johnson says win games, fell asleep, and Cass have gone in, two tries in five minutes, broke the hearts of this Warrington team. The tackling let them down before it was the attack. Now, tonight they've got the tries, they got the lead, what they wanted, but Cass have come back. And at one stage, Cass looked dead on the feet. But England got a try, give him a bit of confidence, they've applied a bit of pressure, and Crooks has gone in for one. Can he convert it? Now his own try. That'll make up for that long pass that give Bateman a try for Warrington. The fans have forgive him. They easily forgive here at Castleford. So Crooks, good kick. No, wide. So, misses this one, he should have kicked that, but it puts Castleford now 22-14 in front. So, Warrington now, two times they've got a score, they've got it all to do again. Eight points behind now, when they were two points in front at one stage and the game looked won. It looks like we're going to have to long drive down the motorway home. I'm sure a lot of the players must have their minds on Mr Smith's tonight instead of at Weldon Road. Bragger. He comes forward, but not much room. Both teams disorganised with centres being gone off the field, but Cass have got a second wind, second bite of the cherry, and they've come back strong. So we've got to score twice now. And Southernwood, bad mistake. Bad mistake. And that'll give Warrington a head and ball, 25 yards out. So it'll be Kevin Ellis to get it in. So, I make it, we've got about 12 minutes to go. <coughs> so, what's Warrington doing here? They've got a set move on here, Warrington, the ball goes in. Sullivan, Sullivan's got Turner. That's a little chip, but, well, clever play. I think Hardy was the man there, and that was very clever play. He read that well. Good play, Hardy. Saved a certain try. Plunged. First time he's had ball this half. He must be cold, the lad out there. So, Cass, Fletcher... He goes down, and one of the only players you can tell in this gloom, because he's wearing that scrum cap. All a rage now, then. I'm getting my wife one for Christmas. So, Castleford now, just outside their own 25. It crooks. But, they're away through this time. 
apart from his try, I don't think he's done much, Crooks. I think the man who's done the trouble has been the other prop forward, Dean Sampson. And here's the one, long one back to Stedman. Stedman having a quiet game as well. Gets his kick off. Does he drum and now again, letting it bounce about. And again, a bit of a mix up. Oh, he can't give a knock on. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a chap stood next to me here who has a lot to do with everything. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more. Scrum down, Cassad and Ball. Well, I might send him something for Christmas, Mr. Galatrus. And another bad pass. And Warrington get it, but no, he's not happy with the scrum. And now he wants a re-scrum. Cassie's head and ball again. So, he seems to have changed a little now. He's seen the impetus was Warrington's way, and he seems to have put it Cassie's way now. Stedman, Stedman to Hardy. Hardy has to go on his own, and there's no way through. This Stedman, they've class, they reckon he's a classy standoff, but I'll be honest, I don't think he's done much tonight. I think he's a bit of a lazy player myself, drifting in and out instead of getting involved in the game. Here's one, England scored one, again running strong. So, Cass, Southernwood acting half back. Stedman stood in an offside position there, gets away with it and loses it, and still offside Stedman there. So, Warrington dive on the loose ball, getting a bit scrappy now. So, Warrington now at 80 yards to go, and they still need score another after that. Turner, no way through. So, Cassie's tackling's improved. It's surprising what a try will do. And Warrington get the penalty. They're ever he shall tell. They won't let him play the ball, and so the penalty comes. So, Rocky Turner with a penalty for Warrington. I make it. We've got about nine minutes to go here at Weldon Road. Finds touch, 10 yards short of the halfway line. So, what can they do with this? So, Mercer, running strong, but no way through there. Hardy, he's had a good game since he's gone to centre for Cass Hardy. Oh, Sullivan again, jinking and jiving. I mean, well, there'll be an inquisition on the coach going home, I can tell you that, how oh, we've lost this. And Rudd gives it straight back. Alan Bateman, the pass was like 10 foot high. And he gave it to Roebuck, England. He's decided play now since he scored. Forward pass up, but he got it out. And Southernwood was backing up. So, Stedman, Stedman to Crooks. Crooks trying to unload to Samson. Samson back to Stedman. No way through here for Stedman. And the tackle there. I could see it being closed down, but it was a good run. That's class. When he plays, he can be classy. French. Roebuck. Roebuck to Crooks again. But Crooks just dies with it. But he doesn't mind. He knows the clock's ticking away. And they're in front, 22-14. Clever little pass. Still going. Braga. But no way through. Give Warrington the due. That was good defence. And Drummond now, all over Braga. Here's the drop goal. Brent, no, the up and under again. Definitely obstructions. Surely an obstruction on the full back. Well, he's let it go. Samson went in, no intention of jumping for the ball, and just grabbed Rocky Turn around the neck and brought him down. And they've got the ball back. Well, that is atrocious. Good tackle by Ruddy. Certain try there for French. England, he's running with a lot of power now. He's got his second wind. So, Warrington now. Hardy, Southernwood, Crooks. Crooks has got Stedman. Stedman's got Hardy. Hardy's there. Plunge. But again, the pass is shocking pass. Hardy had a bit more time than that. He should have just laid his pass off nicely. And Plunge would have been in. But I must say, with that up and under just from French, I seen Samson running, and he just run in and jumped at the fullback. It should have been a penalty to Warrington, and the referee said no. Now what's he doing? He wants to scrum down again. Not happy again. So Warrington get it in again. This time we get it out. Ellis has to die with it. No, still going. Drummond was there for the pass, but he just couldn't unload. So. The um and are these cast fans here for nothing. Bateman, Bateman sells a dummy. Now, this lad's got class. 
Ruddy, can he get going? Williamson, he's got to score. Plange is coming across. He's in. Well, Plange had done all the hard work. He cut across to cut him off, and Williamson went round him. So, five minutes to go. So, Warrington back in it. Warrington 18, Castleford 22. The goal kick to come, and I make it about five minutes left. But I don't know plans there. He'd come in from the opposite wing, he'd done all the hard work, brilliant cover, and he had easy tackle to do, and he just caught the tackle up, and Williamson went over. So, Turner now, what can he do with this one? No. So... Five minutes left, Warrington 18, Castleford 22. I'd like to see what under it sticks now and finish it off. So, four minutes to go. Steadman back in the centre now to restart now. All that try started from Alan Bateman. Rugby Union convert, what a beautiful time pass to Rudd, and Rudd fed his winger. Here's Mark Thomas now. So, Warrington now, they've got six tackles here, what can they do? They've got the pace to go the full length, and Castleford know it. They've got two men in a sweeper position now. They've got Plange and Fletcher sweeping up at the back, and don't they need it? Amen. Ah, but well, no way through. No, oh, I'm sorry, that was Phillips, Roland Phillips. So Warrington now, come on now, Ellis, long, long pass, good pass, but again a bad, bad play by the Warrington player, chest first, and the bounce ball bounces kindly, and Hardy picks it up, so England, Cass now just slowing it down with the forwards, they know, the few minutes to go, I'm sure Darren van der Velde has explained the ticket, minutes ticking by, and now these forwards will just do the necessary, up the jumper like they used to in the olden days, when we didn't have six tackles, so Cass, again, the one man and there's Desi Drummond, good player Drummond, still good, been a good one, still a sweating English team, his plans, he has a run, but no way through, Two tackles, last tackle, says Mr Galtras. So, plans slowly back up. So here's the kick, Stedman. Long one. Warrington let this one go. Wisely, Turner leaves it. We get a restart now on the 25. I make it two minutes to go now. What, what wouldn't this sick in Castleford if Warrington scored? I think there'd be some disappointed Castleford people going home tonight. So, but like I say, we've got a score. And Castleford are waiting, Armin. Surely now, oh, Sullivan's the man who can break this defence down here. So, Warrington now. <laughs> Ellis. Along the line, but is Bateman. Good running by Bateman, but good tackle by Plange. Who... Well, fair enough, I agree with it. Ah, that one mistake, he's had a good game, this young Fletcher. Just got his place back in the team, and I think he'll be here to stay. I think Steve Larder might be upset about it, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, French. French goes on his own from the scrum, but the scrum had broken. There's the Ura. Well, I wouldn't say it's been an excitable game. It's been all right. We've had a few tries, but I think both defences have been terrible. Anyway, a score at Weldon Road. Castleford 22, Warrington 18. That game tonight? Well, I think it, it demonstrated two teams in a bit of compo. Oh.